Lots of new anime have released this year, and it's only best that we cover a topic that many people would really like and enjoy and be interested in, and that is overpowered anime protagonists. Some of them have really just caught my attention, which is why this video here will share those anime so you guys can also check them out. So sit back as we take a dive into their awesome adventure. I like to start things off with quite the underrated anime which aired at its start of this year. The Strongest Tank's Labyrinth Raids is a story of a very powerful tank hero who got kicked out of his hero party because the others mistaken him for being a weakling since they thought that he is the main cause for getting them to lose the raid battle. But essentially, it made him return to his hometown, fighting solo for a while until the others realized they made a huge mistake in kicking him out. But the overpowered skill he possesses is actually pretty wild and let me tell you guys, you should discover this for yourselves by watching it. Now for a quick notice, do not be alarmed by the title of this anime. It may sound familiar, but trust me, it's got none of the adult stuff in there. It's actually a very good isekai anime in my opinion. Now, two members of the student council were chosen as heroes, and an ordinary guy mistakenly got transported with them. But it turns out, they all possess extraordinary skills, but the ordinary boy was a very special being for having healing magic. Thus, he was taken by the ruthless mentor to train him in brutal ways to get the best out of him in using healing magic in crazy ways possible to save his friends or allies from getting killed on the battlefield. This anime may still be airing, but come on guys, trust me, this is a must-watch anime of 2024. With story as wand and sword, a show that takes place in a magic academy and it takes big inspiration from martial ma magic and muscles, less of the comedy and more serious approach with how a talentless loser at a magic academy is unable to use magic, but completely excels at close combat using a sword by utilizing speed and precision to eliminate his enemies. The protagonist Will is on a big journey to climb the wizard tower and join his childhood friend at the very top after a promise they made to each other at a young age. Now this here is what I call an epic journey. Don't you dare miss out on this anime, boys and girls. One of the most underrated anime to have come out of the last few months, the Unwanted Undead Adventure is full of surprises. It's not only its captivating characters, but also the awesome adventure that takes place in the development and also the fights. Huh? <laughs> Rent, the protagonist, is your average character killing slimes for a living until he had discovered a path that was never been found before which led him to face off against a mighty big dragon. It completely killed him, though he wasn't actually dead. And instead of being a human, he was now in the form of a skeleton, killing mobs to retrieve his human form as he levels up fast and gets so much stronger as a low-ranked adventurer. <laughs> I guess you could say here that Goblin Slayer really has some big competition with this protagonist because he may never even be able to kill him. Now, if you really enjoyed Reincarnated as a Slime, this anime has exactly the same qualities and fun it offers with an overpowered protagonist who started as a weakling to then build his very own community from fresh start. A guy reincarnated as a goblin named Gabimaru, but after killing and eating monsters, he began leveling up super quick, which made him evolve into a bigger, much more badass goblin who is completely unkillable. The biggest key message for this anime is that anyone can become an adventurer at any age, which is what the protagonist did in this anime at 30 years old. <laughs> Yes. 
The protagonist, Rick Gladiator, was trained brutally by the most powerful guild in the world. And as a result, he went from being a weakling to become so strong as a mere E-rank protagonist. Any noble look or even a cocky A-rank can easily be obliterated by Rick because they really just haven't trained their skills to the max like he has. Now hear me out on this one. Imagine a protagonist who can swing his sword once and parry thousands of other swords. Now that does sound pretty badass, but he actually used to be so weak and could barely use skills to their biggest potential. The protagonist Noor always wanted to be an adventurer, so he, you know, to, you know, to enhance his skills, he went and trained in different types of schools, only to then get kicked out of, of, in the end for, of every single one of them for having no progress made so far. And instead, he became a maintenance man going around town doing quick, easy jobs by helping folks. Yet he just doesn't even realize he is so damn strong after destroying a high rank monster. Trash skills, betrayed by a goddess and your classmates, left to suffer in a dungeon against monsters. Yeah, that kind of sounds awesome, to be honest. <laughs> the, the anime Failure Frame is a brand new sky that is airing right now, and while it has received a lot of negativity because of the horrendous CGI that it has to offer, the story is actually pretty cool, and I'm enjoying where it's going so far. The main character Mamori and his class were summoned to another world to become heroes, and as everyone got tested for their rank and skills, uh, Mamori was the only lowest rank hero, which made the goddess get rid of him by ending his suffering. But his status abilities actually turned out to be so overpowered, no monster or human bandit can stand a chance against him. And now he's on a journey to get back up to the surface and get revenge on that dirty goddess. So low leveling, an anime that has blown up in popularity that everyone is claiming it to be among the one of the greatest anime to release, and boy do I have to agree with that statement. This show is mind blowing. Studio A1 Pictures brought this manhua to life through their glorious animation and it did not even disappoint. From amazing characters to epic character development, from being the weakest hunter of all time to making his way to the strongest, Sang Jin Woo has become one of my favorite anime protagonists thanks to his sheer dedication and training to become the absolute best. I cannot wait for season 2. <laughs> Finally, to recommend the final anime on today's video list, Kaiju Number 8. This is a really enjoyable new shonen anime of how an adult middle-aged man who works as a cleaner for the kaiju remains becomes one of the mighty elite defense force soldiers in fighting and protecting civilization from kaiju monsters. The main character, Kafka, was your average normal human with no powers until some sort of a parasite went into his body and transformed him into a powerful, dangerous kaiju. And with his newfound powers, he will be able to battle against kaiju, join the defense force, hopefully, and achieve the dream he has always been chasing at a young age. Thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy and let me know down below which of these overpowered characters have taken your interest and which one you will be planning on watching. Thanks for watching and I'll be catching you all in the next one.